Can you elaborate on what normal social contact means? Uh, you mentioned in the technical briefing as well that certain activities like hugging can resume among social circles now. Uh, can you elaborate on that guidance and, and whether discretion should be tied to, say, whether friends or family have been vaccinated? Sure. And yeah, I think it, it, this is where um, we each have our own level of, of risk tolerance and we have our own levels of vulnerability for this virus and for what we've been through in the last few months. So yes, we're saying expand your circle in a small way right now. The same uh, group of people, the family, uh, another family or another group of friends, but the same ones. And you can have those connections in your house, but you need to know uh, whether they're immunized, whether you're immunized, whether um, I have a very good friend who's been going through cancer treatments, and we're not going to take our masks off right now because she's still vulnerable. So we have to make those decisions ourselves in the next little while. But uh, it is those um, normal interactions that we're used to. So if your grandparents have been immunized and they're going to be part of your social connections again uh, with your grandkids, yeah, you know each other, you know what the risks are. Now's the time where you can uh, get together. You can hug again. And I'm thinking by the time we get to July, if things continue in the way that we expect, um, that we'll be able to um, hug our neighbors again, if they're, if they're people who like to be hugged. I mean, we have to understand that not everybody does, but it's one of the things that I'm missing most in this pandemic. And um, I, I've been trying to pitch to the Premier that we should have BC Hug Day in July when we, when we get to that point where, we're, where we can take our masks off and have those uh, closer social interactions that we used to have with people that we're close to, whether that's family or friends.